So some people may be in the process of foreclosure or facing foreclosure. Uh, if you're kind of behind on payments and you're wondering, will I have to give my house back to the bank? Uh, this should answer a couple of those questions. Uh, it may mean yes, it may mean no. So you have to think of the short term and long term consequences of giving your house back to foreclosure. Uh, the temporary consequences of that process is that you're not going to have a place to stay. Uh, you'll have to go find a new apartment or a new house to live in. Uh, the long term consequences uh, is your credit is going to tank and it's going to tank for up to seven years uh, unless you go through some kind of repair process or program. Uh, when your credit tanks bad due to a foreclosure, your ability to buy or rent a property, uh, particularly ones that you are going to want to live in, is going to be significantly reduced. I know as a landlord, we take credit uh, into, that's one of our main factors when we're evaluating a potential candidate to rent one of our properties. Um, so be aware of that. Your long-term uh, pain is going to be a little bit larger. So what's the process of giving the bank back or your house to the foreclosure? So you're missing a few payments. Uh, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, the bank is going to give you all these notices and notifications that you're behind on payments. Uh, and if you uh, start paying those back and you don't become current but you start making your monthly payments that you need to make but you don't become current on the old payments your house is going to go to auction and when your house goes to auction you're obviously going to need to find a new place to stay uh, some banks will let you stay in the property for however long you need some won't it depends on your laws for your state and uh, some options that you have uh, to go through and deal with the foreclosure process, uh, we have two processes that we know to deal with it, or two options. One is to do a deed in lieu of foreclosure. And what that means is you just hand ownership back to the bank. Uh, you just sign the title back over to them and you don't go through the foreclosure process. This saves them a ton of money and going through the whole foreclosure proceedings. Uh, so. You could, so what happens if you owe $100,000, but you're only able to sell your house? So the second option is to sell your house to an investor. Uh, if you're able to sell your house, it's worth $100,000. You're only able to sell it for ninety. dollars uh, You come into a shortfall. A shortfall means that uh, whatever you sell the house for and you owe more, you have to cover uh, that difference. So if it's worth one hundred, dollars you sell it for ninety. dollars you now owe the bank the $90,000 that you just made and the $10,000 that you have to come out of your pocket on. So the short term uh, results in selling your house faster is the shortfall. That's your potential pain that you have with selling your house faster to a professional home buyer like Briar Home Buyers. That's a much better option than going through foreclosure and being affected for almost a decade. So a lot of people don't want to give up their home and pay the $10,000 to the bank or the difference that they're going to have in their payoff. Uh, they're not really looking long term and realizing how much uh, that shortfall is going to affect or that foreclosure is going to affect their credit in the long term. Uh, if you want to talk to us about what your options are for foreclosure if you're potentially facing it, uh, just fill out a form below on our website or give us a call and we'll be happy to talk to you. Uh, that's it. Thanks guys.